We all know your legend. You're the son of Zeus. I only want to be a husband and a father. Well, come on, Mila. You cannot deny what you are. The gods will punish you for it. Yeah, Martin left me here all alone off there gallivanting in San Diego at Comic-Con, so I'm stuck here with Tommy Boy Records yeah. tonight. <laughs> oh, oh, is that Tommy, man? I can't recognize you yeah, without that no hat, hat on your head. Yeah, No hat tonight. What happened? It's the weekend. You got to let your hair off. Oh, 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 okay. Like yeah. you told me, you got your weekend warrior outfit on yes, right now. Okay. Yes, look like I'm about to go do a barbecue right now. When Martin comes back, he might not have a job. Oh, shit. Yeah. Do I get the file? You, you know what? I'll give you the pleasure. Oh. Makes me look better if, if wanted, I let you do it. I've always wanted to do that. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't wait till we put on the show on Sunday. I'm going to replay this right here. I got oh, evidence. No. Everybody, Tommy Boy came in and helped me do this review. Now, we didn't get a screening of Hercules, which came out during our time right now, came out today. Which I don't know why we didn't get a screening for this because yeah. it's got two big names attached to it. First of all, we see that it has the rock. I mean, you can't miss his big ass, I right? Mean, it's damn near two rocks in this one. Motherfucker <laughs> yeah. is huge. He's huge. Yeah. And then they have Brett Ratner attached to it. Oh, shit. So I was thinking, <laughs> I, well, maybe that's why they say, you know what, critics yeah. already hate that dude. So yeah, man. Why, why are we even going to put something out it there? Wasn't just a lot so of. Uh, directed by Brett Ratton on this shit. It was it was mostly focused on The Rock. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. you know, they do this thing where they say, you know, critics already hate Brett Ratton. Yeah. So why so it's even, an automatic fail. Yeah, well, exactly. Why even put this out there? Because they just ready to tear this shit apart. <laughs> critics is out there True. in the pit. Just give it to me. Yeah. Give it to me so I can Come tear on. this shit up. Yeah, but, man, we went to go see it, getting back into the, the tradition of Midnight Movie yes. Madness, Tommy. Throwback. Throwback time to that. <laughs> where we... Put all money and just go see a movie together late yeah. at night, man. Pretty fun time doing it was that. Fun, yeah, yeah. No, no. Well, that's because of the movie. Now we'll, well, we'll tell you a little that's bit. Debatable. I look at the Rock and I said, you know what? It is about time that somebody cast his big ass as Hercules. Yeah. I mean, you know that he. It, I see people making a Hercules movie. There's been about two or three Hercules movies out there, and I say. You know, why don't you get the biggest motherfucker out there to play him? Exactly. The Rock. Yeah. Perfect caster. Perfect caster. In fact, I remember when they were doing the Avengers. I was like, I don't know why y'all doing the CG Hulk in this. You can just, <laughs> you can just take the, the, the Lou Ferrigno route. You, yeah, just take the Rock out. In the, exactly. Take him out in the parking lot and just spray paint his ass green. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, would, I would watch that. I would, too. I would watch that. So... Somebody finally did it. What I like about this, man, they, they did something to you. They sw they switched it on you. Because, now, if you, if you look at the trailer, yeah. now, it's, you know, in the trailer, they show you things like him fighting the, the Hydra and, <laughs> and Cerebus the dog. And, you oh, know, and, yeah. he's, and, and then they show him out there fighting lions and shit. And you're thinking, like, oh, Giant shit. Giant lions. Giant lions. Yeah. And, yeah. and you're thinking, Oh shit, somebody has finally done that Hercules where they're showing the what is the twelve labors? Twelve labors, the one everybody's been asking about. Have you noticed that? Everybody's wanted that. that. They have not made one movie yet where they can get all those those tasks in there. Not one. Until, Until. not this one. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, because yeah, I ain't trailers, seen it. Those trailers are pretty misleading because that's what I thought going in. Like, oh, shit, it's going to finally get to see Hercules and the 12 labors. Three. That, you see three out of <laughs> 12 fucking labors. That's the, that's the shit about this trailer, man. They're thinking that you're going to finally see that full story of Hercules. And not only do they show it to you partially, but they tell you, it's not even real. <laughs> Turns out that Hercules is his whole story uh, bullshit. is it's bullshit. Yeah. In fact, he hired his own PR agent to follow him around. He got his nephew yeah, to follow nephew. him around. Got to keep it in the family. Got to keep exactly. Yeah. Exactly. You know, it's a straight up celebrity, ain't it? Let little nepotism. <laughs> there you go. Hercules got to get a little fame, a little fortune and say, you know, I'm going to get my nephew to do this yeah. shit. But his nephew goes around. He's the one that's telling everybody, oh, Hercules defeated the Hydra. Hercules fought the lion with indestructible fur and all that. You know, it's like <laughs> And they telling you right off the bat, this is complete bullshit. <laughs> and not only do they tell you it's bullshit, but Tommy's right. It's only for about, it's an intro to the movie. It's yeah. only for about five minutes that you see that. Exactly. In fact, when you see Hercules in the film, Hercules is more 
like uh, like like the Expendables. Yeah. And 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 the Muppet Show. Exactly. <laughs> a little bit of Thor mixed in too. With a little bit of Thor mixed in. A little bit of Thor mixed in. Uh, 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 Hercules travels around with his, <laughs> with, his, with his crew. With his comedy crew. With his cat. Yeah, with his crew. He's got. <laughs> they got an archer. They you gotta have an archer in the crew these days. Got an archer, oh, and yeah. then the, y'all probably say, "What well, the Muppet Show come in?" And they got they got one dude so crazy they got to keep that motherfucker on chains. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So <laughs> the funny part is when this motherfucker comes, he just does the most random off the wall shit that you just don't expect. It's just some crazy, like you said, animal from the Muppet, Muppet Show, show shit. shit. Yeah. So the, the story deals with Hercules. Now, you know, it's bullshit. So it deals with Hercules going around showing you how he's just uh, he's a mercenary. He's just working for he's working for gold. And the, the reason why he tells these stories is because, well, it's that kind of shit that if if, if somebody's out there telling these lies and if you yeah. tell it if you if you spin it good enough it's a dumb it's a bunch of dumb motherfuckers out there that'll believe people will believe yeah. it. yeah and so it would either one it'll entice people to fight on your side or two it'll scare the shit out of people right so hercules goes into one kingdom he finds out that he's probably not fighting for the side that he thought he was and being that he's he has this troubled history behind him where he might have committed a terrible crime that he feels extremely guilty for, he is on a path, no matter what the price, to do the right thing. Yeah. Now, the thing with this, Tommy, is that <laughs> I, I was wondering, I said, huh, really, I was saying, well, you know, this is weird that we don't get a screening for, that, for, for this movie right here. And after seeing it, I was like, oh, we didn't get a screening of this because we've seen this shit a hundred oh, yeah. times before. Yeah. It's the, a it, million times before. It is very, very predictable. Oh, you know what? Uh, this is going to be a Han Solo moment in here. Yeah. Oh, this dude looks shady right from the beginning. Right. There's going to be a twist right here where allegiances are not going to be what you think they are. <laughs> oh, you know, Hercules is going to go in and he's going to have that montage where he trains an army yeah. in like two minutes. Two minutes. And they get brand new armor out of nowhere. Oh, no, they got it. Out the ass. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> right out of Zeus's ass. Right, That's yeah. they got that shit. Yeah, I, there's a lot of shit that happens in this movie where the problem with taking the magic and 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 the and the myth out of Hercules is that if you want to put it in the real world, yeah, then everything that you do that's stupid and doesn't make sense, you're gonna question because it's set well at least for this film in their version of the real world. Yeah, you know it's like all right, you just you just told us through like half the movie that. Hey, I'm Hercules, and guess what? I'm full of shit. Yeah. I ain't do none of that shit you heard about. <laughs> He's out there hustling. That's it. Just out like everybody That's else. That's it, man. Just out there getting his hustle on. Getting his. But the thing is, Tommy, when, Her when Hercules finally does some Hercules shit, yeah. you're like thinking, well... Wait a minute, I, I you know I don't, I don't where did that where did that shit come? From? I thought exactly. he was just I I thought he was just a dude, a regular guy. <laughs> a yeah, regular... they, they want to throw this shit in like you know out of nowhere like well maybe he really is the son of Zeus. I'll make in yourself. Now tell me. And then you sit there like, well, you just spent like the past hour and a half telling us he's full of shit, like you said. So it's like, hey, where did hey, that come from exactly? <laughs> hey, you know, we need something done last minute. Let's just do it. Hercules, he's a man right now. Oh, shit, we got to defeat this. We wrote this whole army about to attack. <laughs> Fuck, let's just have Hercules just knock a whole giant statue over. Yeah. Fuck up a building, you know? Yeah, we're that, running out of time. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. We got to wrap this shit we up. We got to wrap this shit up. Yeah, let's just, <laughs> all right, he's, you know what? He is a god. Fuck yeah. it. We gotta, we gotta, <laughs> That's <laughs> pretty much how I think the right process went on this shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we got to end this somehow. Exactly. And, and it's too late for that. Yeah, by the it's time, way too late for that. By the time they're asking you to believe that he might be Hercules, yeah, it's like. Yeah, will be in about five minutes. Yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> it's like hey, no. You sold that shit too well. Yeah. No, I ain't. Buy, I don't believe he's shit now. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. <That's all. laughs> Motherfucker is a dude that spends all day at the gym and takes some steroids. That's what it that's, looks like. That's what it is. Now, I, I, one of the things in the movie that I do like, I'm not saying that this is necessarily a bad thing because throughout the film, the characters that he's hanging out with, they are 
fun people. I mean, you, yeah. I mean, they, they, you know, they're they're the uh, they're the Avengers of, uh, of, of of Greek mythology. Exactly right. You know, exactly what they are. They're the low rent Thor. <laughs> exactly. Like you said, the we, poor man's Thor. Poor man's Thor. <laughs> didn't have that. Didn't have that Marvel budget. So Hell you know. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they definitely didn't have that shit. Yeah, he, the yeah. Effects in this movie was so fucking awful. Yeah. So what they so so they make it up just by making these characters. Uh, somewhat likable. I mean, you have people like Rufus Sewell as his best friend. And here's the other thing. Today, let me ask you something, Tommy. Yeah. Today, when you need, when you got a crew, right? Yeah. When you got a ragtag crew and you, <laughs> and, and, you know, they're all badasses. You got it down, but you need one old man. You need one old man who sits around and talks. It does nothing but talk shit, but makes it look good because when he talks, has he, that voice. he has that voice. Yeah. I don't do a goddamn thing but talk shit through this movie. <laughs> do, do you know who I'm talking I know about? Exactly. Who, who am talking I talking about? Good old Ian McShane. You call Ian McShane. Yes. No matter how fast you run, no matter how far you go, the beast will follow. Man cannot escape his fate. Now, Tommy, I'm gonna tell you something, man. I'm talking, I'm talking a lot of shit about yeah. this, and I'm saying the movie's goofy, and yes, it is. Look, <laughs> you you remember that 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 Kevin Sorbo joint they yeah. did back in the day on the one they used to play right before Xena, Warrior the, Princess, which was on TV. Uh, TV, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tommy, like, you've been long gone. Yeah. No, it, it was on TV. Right. The writing on this ain't even as good as that. No. The thing that makes it rise above that is because it genuinely is, if you take it in a goofy attitude, it is fun. I did have fun with this. They have enough actors in here to where they can raise this goofy shit above level. John Hurt. Oh, yeah. As the king of the whatever kingdom Hercules is fighting for. Yeah, it don't matter. King, uh, coitus. Shit, no, Close I, enough. That's what they that's what they used to call uh, me, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. It's it's uh it's 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 goofy enough to where are, are they have actors who are good enough to raise this, this this goofball material just above par. The rock the say what you will about the rock. The, the it's funny because the movies the rock is getting in a dumber. Yeah. But he's getting better. Right. He and and so he's a great leading man right here. And when I say he's Hercules, he is Hercules. Oh yeah. Uh, like he strolls into town with that big grin, fucking gleams off the tooth and shit. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and the Rock has always been cool to where he said, "You know what? I can sit up here and be nice, yeah, and smile and be charismatic <laughs> because if you say one wrong thing, then I'm gonna beat your fucking ass." You know. <laughs> so he's likable too. I, yeah. So I, I, I think that the characters and some of the battles in here make this fun. I mean, the but that. It's still PG thirteen, which means that you which, get a, a lot of action. That's, it's a hard PG thirteen. The fighting in it—they don't have blood, but it's a couple it, of throat slits, quick cut throat slits. Ooh, snapping some necks. Yeah, snapping necks and shit. And and uh, and and Hercules is quick to whoop that head. Oh yeah, with that club. Oh, in a minute. And that's the thing about it, man. The violence, while it's bloodless. It hits hard. Oh, it does. It, it it hits real hard. Oh, it really does. I mean, you. So you came out of it because Tommy came out of it. And he said, "Man, you know, I ain't even try." So I don't know, Tommy. Did you? We, you and I were laughing in the <laughs> middle of it. I don't know if you liked it as much as I did. Man, I had fun with it. I had a, a lot of fun with it, man. But it, it's it's not good. <laughs> it's some dumb shit. That's exactly. It is some dumb shit. And I mean, like, it is points in this movie where you could tell they just said, "Fuck it." <laughs> like this shit, it's it's not cohesive. Like we just add some shit right here. Rock make some shit up. Say fuck it a couple times. Actually, he did. He did, yeah. <laughs> he really did. So I'm like, man, if the Rock did, literally said fuck you in this. He did, as if he was saying just fuck this situation. Exactly right. So I was with that. I'm like, man, hey, he said fuck it. I say fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? That is true. It's like, well, shit. If the Rock don't care, then you know, yeah, why, why should why, I? Why should I? You know, I noticed that and. This is another thing that could actually make the movie kind of fun because, and you're either going to like it or you're not. These characters, they're not just comic book characters in here. They, they, they're video game characters. Each, oh, yeah. each one of them has their own special yes, weapon. special ability and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When The Rock comes in, everybody's thinking that he's one man that can whoop ass. You find out slowly, okay, I got a dude that can throw knives out of his hands. Hit and like hit, five hit, motherfuckers in the throat. With accuracy. With perfect accuracy. Yeah, I got, you know, <laughs> I got one girl over here. She can fire like 10 arrows at one time yeah. and take out 20 people. Has her like her own kung fu style with the goddamn bow and with arrow. With the bow and arrow. Yeah, yeah I, got, I got one guy who just tears people apart with his bare hands and bites 
Jackson and all kind, yeah. you know, and all uh, kind of wild shit. animal. Wild animal, yeah. yeah. Just let them off his leash. <laughs> you know, all of them are. You know, they they They're really pretty do. unique. Yeah, yeah, they really yeah, are. They, they give really, them that. yeah, yeah. If it was a fighting game, you would have a choice of what, what character you would like yeah. to choose plus to play you with. Got, hey, you got Ian McShane, old ass, moving extremely slow with his fucking staff with the spear at the end. You just, <laughs> yeah. Like, man, come on, really? Like well, nobody could have killed that old man. I, you know what? <laughs> that didn't, you didn't think I, about that? No, I did because that, <laughs> that was the thing about him. He was first of all, Ian McShane. This fool, <laughs> he would sit back and just let everybody fight. Yeah. And then he come in. He's like, "Oh, well, I think I'll do something now." <laughs> yeah, of course. it's one or two of them out here. I guess I'll uh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like more like Jack Palace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, same shit. Yeah, there you go. yeah. And he <laughs> ten dudes on this one old man. And he just, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't hit me. I'm all right. I, yeah. No, it's no, it's a, not breaking a sweat. Not breaking one goddamn sweat. <laughs> it's, I would say. I've seen a, I've, I have seen a lot worse this summer, and I know a lot of people. They say, you know, yeah, you can always use that expression. I've seen a lot worse. Yeah, we always have seen a lot worse. No, you don't understand. I have seen a lot worse this summer done with more money. The budget on this, it's it. It looks like they used it well, but at the same time, they didn't do the kind of nonsense with it where it's just all right. You know what? We're just gonna blow it straight on uh, on action. Nothing but action. I mean, they did it. it when you have a, a film like this, if you don't have an original story, infuse it with a lot of humor. And they managed to get by with that. And any, and, and I wish more movies took themselves less serious like this yeah. to where, you know, if you're going to give me some bullshit, make me laugh. And that's what they did here, which is why I found this enjoyable. And this is why I would give this a matinee. Yeah, you say we? I, no, I said oh, me. Oh, so me, okay. No, I, I, wasn't, well, you I don't give a what's shit his wish, What's his wish, Shaquem Asabi? No, I, I, I'm talking See, about me. My problem with this movie is I saw the potential in it. Like the, the plot that they had going, how all this shit was bullshit and how he was just making it up, just, you know, that was actually clever. And I, You know, it, it was a lot of potential in it where they could have done something, you know, more than what they did. But like you said, they do kind of offset that shit with a lot of humor and a lot of just fun shit that just kind of comes out of nowhere. So See, I give it that, but... Uh, I'm gonna have to go with a rental. With a rental, yeah. <laughs> believe me, I, I wasn't. Uh, I, it's nothing. If you just have to go see a movie, you know, and you just catch yourself in there, I'm not gonna say you you wasted your time paying yeah. matinee, but really, I, I side with you, Tommy, too, by saying it ain't You'll nothing. Be you, kind. You, you ain't got to rush out the house to see. Hell it. no, this shit would have been something better suited for like January. Yeah, it really would. Um, oh. Yeah. In the middle of the summer, where you just need to dump, dump something. Some shit, <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, we gotta we gotta fill space. Yeah, and, and hey, and and uh, and and the competition ain't too high right no. now. Yeah, so you know, I, I yeah, you know what, Tommy? Yeah, maybe I liked it so much because you know what, this is our first date, man. man. <laughs> <laughs> You know, maybe I had fun just because I was enjoying my with Tommy. Yes. I, I enjoyed my time with Tommy Boy right hey, here. I have that effect. Apparently, you do. Yeah. You know. I'd be giving so many movies so many better ratings than Tommy was there. <laughs> you hear that, Martin? You might not have anything when you come back here. <laughs>